Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, We'll get to about 48 to 50 today. Cloudy, rain on and off. Not as crazy as it's been. Today is kind of the tapering off day. And then tomorrow, close to 50 and back to sunshine. I love it. I'll get through today. I'm going to pick. I I haven't had anything hemmed or tailored in quite a long time. I got a pair of pants that I really like that needed to be tailored. I picked them up today. Now, it's $13.50 to get your pants shortened. I haven't done this in a long time. Is that an outrageous amount of money? I don't I don't think it's outrageous. Well, no. He, see, here's the thing. I haven't been to a tailor in a long, long time. The only thing I've ever gotten tailored recently is a suit, and you're going to do that at the suit place anyway. So When you buy the suit, they'll tailor it for you. Right. Usually for not a charge. I guess some places do charge. But I, I wouldn't think of it as, well, ba- you know, 10 years ago it was $3. Now it's $13. Here's how I would think of it. Can you? I don't care if it's tailoring or anything. Can you do this yourself? How much time does it take to do it yourself? I and, cannot. Okay. I don't know how. For me, it would take months because no, I don't sew. I don't then know how to do it. You want to know? You want to know the truth? It's worth thirteen fifty. They're probably not charging enough. Is my guess. Okay, it's All worth right. the money, and I'm excited to go get them. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, you. It's thirteen dollars now for for a, a burger, fries, and a, and a drink. Okay, uh, getting your stuff tailored for thirteen bucks, something you could not do at home. They should probably charge you twenty five dollars, Candy. Well, thank you. I feel better now. Okay. All right. I want to ask you a question. Yes. Your kids still live with you. You have uh-huh. three beautiful children. And you think they're the greatest thing, and they are the greatest thing. They're great kids, and they're beautiful looking and whatever. <laughs> Is there ever a moment, though, when you look yeah. at one of them, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, my God, they, they're they beautiful. Like, your heart just swells, and you have that moment where you cannot believe you created this human being. Every day. Every day? Every day. See, wow. Candy, I think what you fail to realize that I'm hoping most of our listeners and Long Islanders have picked up on, I am a very uh, caring individual in touch with my feelings. And every <laughs> every single day. I, see, you think of me as this monster. but I do not. Every I think single... you're a little uh, neurotic, maybe. This is a little true. Uh, hypochondriac, maybe, uh, but not a monster. But I'm not kidding. There is a moment every day where I either hug or kiss or look at my kids, and it's not it's not like this magical thing where it's like it like like I'm thinking about it. It's just I pass it Abigail, you. right? I, I I walk past Abigail in the kitchen, and I'll I'll grab I'll just grab her and give her a kiss, and like things like that every day. Well, my kids are grown. Mm -hmm. And they're not in the house, and I don't see them every day like you do. Uh, But yesterday, Casey FaceTimed me, and I'm looking at him, and I get that feel. I'm like, he's just breathtakingly beautiful. (laughs) My heart, my heart was like swelling. And we had such a lovely conversation and, you know, kissing and hugging and, you know, as much as you could do on FaceTime and, you know, goofing around with Maeve. And, you know, we said goodbye, and he's like, bye, Mom, I love you. And I hung up and cried. Honey, I, it's a wonderful <laughs> thing. You are, you are, uh, you are blessed. Let's just say that, blessed. So I didn't know that I was going to have that emotional feeling looking at him, like, oh my god, because I see him, and not all the time do I feel that way. Mm-hmm. But yesterday it got me. Yeah, and sweet babe, she was eating pasta. It was adorable. Um. So here's how it goes with my different kids, right? Elijah is very huggy like elijah all day will run up to me give me a hug and all okay so there's that going on abigail i am grabbing you know she pretends to not want to hug anymore but she's into it i grab her she pretends to fight me you know the old father daughter thing like that right and i kiss her and she's goofing around with me leah is different right leah will ask for things. Like yesterday, we're at dinner, we're sitting down at the kitchen table, and she is much closer to where the knives are. 
And she looks across the table at me and says, Dad, would you go get me a knife? Just like that. <laughs> and I look at her and I'm halfway through the sentence of saying, you're closer to the knives. What, what do I look like? And I stop mid-sentence and I just stare at her and I say, Yes, princess. And I get up out of my chair and I go. Yeah, that'll back. come and go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or can you give me a napkin? Well, do your legs work? Exactly. Can you stand up. I mean, you'll have moments that go either way, but that's funny. Exactly. Uh, so yes, I understand what you're saying. I get the uh, the emotion of it all. I do. Um. So you Facetimed. I went out to uh, uh, had a lunch yesterday with my uh, tennis buddy Nick. Yesterday, oh, Candy. you are. You two are becoming quite close. It's it's it's. I gotta tell you, we Does are. Barbecue Tom, know what's going on? But ba- Barbecue Tom and Nick don't need to be in the same room together. Oh. Barbecue, okay. But Bar- no, actually, they. It would it would be great. They would love each other. Um, but it it's a different thing. See, when I'm you're with... afraid to introduce Nick to Barbecue Tom. No, that no. they'll become better friends. No, no. I know. I know you're. No, that's not the case. Uh, Nick and I have developed this therapy session thing. We are two tennis dads that must uh, get our feelings out about <laughs> what we are witnessing on a daily basis from our daughters. Um, just yesterday afternoon, the two of our daughters played tennis together at the facility Um for a little while that they've been doing recently. So um, there, there is a lot of uh, introspective, you know, looking at Bonding. ourselves. Yes, there's, there's, a, there's, and I got to tell it's really, a lot of it feels like therapy. You get a lot of our feelings out, Candy. Oh, it's, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, but no, we, I have, I, I have a very good relationship uh, with Nick, um, Barbecue Tom. We know Barbecue Tom is... The guy. Barbecue Tom is my, um, uh, what's the word? He's what the would... man you've always wanted to be. He, that, <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. He's got that, you know, certain swagger of if, a guy you know can fix things and barbecue and take care of you. If he was out on the Iditarod Trail, he could gut a moose. There's no doubt I about it. I believe he could. I absolutely believe he could. Um, everyone has their place. And then of course, you know, my best friend, Josh, I've, I've had Josh in my life since college candy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I talk to him every day, multiple times a day. Um, he, you know, he fills a different role. There's all, you know, there's, um. Yes, I understand. We have friends, they fill different needs and wants and desires, and I love them all. Yes, very, very much so. You and Nick are getting a little chummy, chummy. <laughs> if I, don't make me blush now, Candy. Who don't picked make up the check? Don't make we uh, we we alternate. We uh, we right. go back and forth oh, depending this on. This is numerous states. I see. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, should we do the spring break thing now? By the way. I'll do uh, this, it really quick. You can't go to Miami anymore, kids. You're just too disgusting and wild. Miami doesn't want you. All right, so spring break coming up, right? here. Here's the top searches. 34 of the 50 states, their top search was Miami. Seven of the states, Fort Lauderdale. Four of the states, South Padre Island, Texas. Oh. And two states prioritizing Myrtle Beach. Um, there were some other states that picked Puerto Vallarta, uh, Playa del Carmen, which, by the way, I was the best man at a wedding in Playa del Carmen. Look Very at you. nice. I bet yep. it is. And that was back in 2004. Wow. And um, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, is a big search as well. Well, Miami has said, look, spring breakers, get out. We don't want you. Don't come here anymore. And have, they, have people been listening or still going? I don't know, but I don't blame Miami. I mean, you ever stay where there's like, Spring breakers. It's a nightmare. It's fun uh, for them. They're having yeah. a great time, but they're annoying everybody else. Yeah, I've never been in a city during spring break where it's all young people partying. No, and I'm glad I haven't. Um, and by the way, as far as worst airports with delays and cancellations and all those things, Fort Lauderdale came in as number one. Oh, 
I hate Miami International. I hate that airport. I despise it. I've landed in West Palm Beach. Very nice, quiet airport. Love that one. Mm -hmm. Fort Lauderdale wasn't bad, but maybe I I got it on a lucky day. I could see you in West Palm one day living out your golden years, Candy. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Yeah, you'd have you'd have a pool enclosed with the fencing so the alligators don't get in, oh, you know, the whole thing. Thought. Yeah. And while we're on this topic, did you see the video of the orca whale with the shark and how that orca whale just it was like a bomb hit that shark. Did you see uh, that video? So I don't know if we want to get this detailed right now as we have to take a break, but I did see it, and I'd like to talk about it at 8.48. All right. Because there is, I read a whole article about it, and it's not just the orca whale killing the shark. There is a whole story about how our waters and our universe is changing. So we should probably get into that, okay? All right, because I watched that video multiple times, over mm -hmm. and over. It was amazing. Like, All right. whoa. So 848, we're going to do National Day's Good News Stories. I have some new foods I want to get into, and we're going to oh. discuss the orca story um, because there is more to it I want to I want to delve into when we do that. Yes, so I'm, sir. I'm writing it down. Uh, we have your bald and the beautiful entertainment coming up about uh, eight twelve. Uh, the rain still today, but tapers at a certain point. Cloudy, close to fifty tomorrow. Sunny, close to fifty. Let's hit the roads, my country. Ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays six to ten a.m. on my country. Ninety six point one.